Liberia faces a lot of challenges because of the healthcare landscape, so there is a lack of facilities really that are equipped to treat malnutrition, and uh, it's a huge problem. ELWA Hospital has been open for close to 60 years. August 2019, we began a malnutrition program in partnership with the Ministry of Health. People are getting to know that we have this open here. Not only just receiving my nourished children, but we are educating them also, and we are having a whole lot of success too. These two little areas with three beds each, and they just rapidly filled within a month of us opening. So uh, Samaritan's Purse came on board and we invented uh, this area here, which is another sort of nine bed unit. We gave our babies milk and the plumbing up, so we feed in hourly some two hours, some three hours. We recently had the Ministry of Health visit us and they actually said that we were the best nutrition program that was functioning in Liberia. We very much believe in investing in our local staff and local materials. It is led from the grassroots, it's led from the people who need it. C1, C2, 3, and we've got C4. I now we just created C4. C4. So IPF can go inside we discharged private 1A, can't they? So they can go inside 1A. We have no patients coming. We have no cases. The medication cannot be done with the amount of patients. This is one of the challenges that we are having within the program. The reason that we've had success is we've had strong partners. We've had people who have given us plum peanuts, such as Live 2540. We've had Samaritan's Purse help us with medication. We've had Swansea come in and help with the trainings and help with some of the staffing costs. The funding goes straight to buying medicine. It goes straight to buying supplies that we need. We've been able to, um, to save the lives of, of many, many hundreds and possibly now thousands of children through this program. This little guy has gained half a kilo in the last four days, which is very impressive. You don't see that very often. <laughs> Boom! This is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we are working towards it, but his body is still dry, so we, we take our own time. Yeah. We had a little child from Buchanan down the road who had been completely abandoned. The whole team just comes together in this incredible sort of moment. When her family came to collect her, they didn't believe it was her, it was a different child. And really they left saying that Jesus is more powerful than anything they've, they've seen before. And for us, I mean, that, that's huge to be allowed to be part of God's plan for these children. And that, that's always a privilege.